To begin with the hummingbird model, we will start with the ball shape. And let's begin at the back of the model by adding some material to create the starting point for a tail. Get to the right view. You can now box select the areas that you want to tweak and scale. Now add some material at the front by shift selecting and then clicking on the plus sign. And you can also adjust some of the shapes while you're at it. Once again, add a beginning of a beak. Um, to get to the correct view, I've used the keyboard shortcut of spacebar um, to trigger the view selector. Now we're going to start adding more material to give the hummingbird's beak. Again, by selecting and using the yellow dots at the end to scale, you can refine the sharpness of the beak. Now it looks more and more like a hummingbird. Now getting again to the right view, you can select and move parts of the shape almost like a Play-Doh clay piece. To get parallel symmetrical views, we are adding a symmetry line. And now you anything you do on one side will be duplicated on the other side. Um, again, adding more material to create the wing. Once you get roughly the shape, you can define it even more by selecting the area you want to adjust and using the controller that appears to scale and to move. Each time you need to get a new orientation, um, you can press again spacebar to get that box to get the view you want. Now this looks like a hummingbird. From a library of models I've made before, I've taken out a flower. Using the select body option, I can position it to where I want relative to the hummingbird. Um, and once I have it positioned well, I can focus on styling the hummingbird. Now we're hopping over to style it to do some final coloring on the hummingbird. Using the paint bucket and the roller tool, you can actually choose what part of the model to paint. Here I'm changing the color to a ruby red to give it a nice neck highlight. To get better access to my hummingbird, I can hide the blossom using the hide control. Now I can focus just on the beak by box selecting uh, part of the model using the roller. It can very quickly highlight and color all of the faces that I, my box selection covers. I can also just click on the area I want. Now I'm adding a sticker to give some character with eyes for the bird. Selecting on the sticker, I can rotate it and enlarge it. And when I'm happy with it, I can turn on the flower again by clicking on show and selecting the blossom. Now I have a complete scene with a hummingbird and the flower.